Hey guys, Commander Tex here, and I've got another video for you showcasing my trials and tribulations on my journey to Masters. This is going to be like a 3.9k game on the NA server. I'm going to be our resident blue Terran in the bottom left, the problem, against Spartan sold the red zerg on the top right. Start off with a little bit of a reaper harass. It doesn't look like we're going to get any kills so far, but he did take his third pretty early, so I'm going to go ahead and bunker rush that. Two more reapers on the way for the total of five. And then a reactor. Looks like he is going to finally come and try and, uh, and test this, but not actually going to be able to do anything. And it has to get cancelled, and the drone dies. So, no big tech yet. Reapers come and look around for another base, don't see any. We'll just go home. Pretty reasonable, it's a bunch of speedlings come to look for them right as they went home. Um, and now we've got a third CC factory ready over here. Bunch of stuff behind the wall prepared for the Zergling counter. It's looking like it's going to get into a pretty reasonable mid game. He is up by a few workers. This is unfortunate timing, but with all the Reapers coming home and the extra Marines, he just loses a bunch of Zerglings for nothing. Doesn't even kill the tech lab. Not even particularly close. I don't think add-ons can burn, but that wasn't at a quarter health anyway. Stim, double cyclone. So this was my initial attempt of doing what Maru did in GSL against Solar. Um, the build was a little scuffed, obviously, since it's my first time doing it. But I do like the idea of this uh, this move out with the five Marines, uh, five Reapers, and two Cyclones. I do think instead of these two Hellions, I prefer to just keep getting the Cyclones, though. It's more expensive, but honestly, Cyclones dunk on Lings, so I don't see why not. I, they feel like they're almost better in low numbers. In low numbers, they're better versus Lings than Hellions are, I think. Hellions just get to a critical mass where Lings can't do anything once they have enough splash. But yeah, this move out's really sick. If you can get into little positions like this, you can just kill so many Lings and shit. And so, everything does die besides the Cyclone, but we pull back before it gets jumped on by this next 30 lings, and it traded out pretty solidly. Um, got a bunch of lings, forced a bunch more, his drone count is still pretty low. Um, looks like his upgrades are a good bit ahead for the attack, and about the same for armor. Little fucking traitor mine. Oh my god. Kills like five marines. This is why you gotta get your combat shields, kids. You'll you'll die to your own mines. Six splits. This thing is gonna burn his will. It burn. Gets down to 8 health. Makes it back. Oh, I don't, do not know what that was. Jesus Christ, the mines. Kills all but one marine and the cyclone. Technically all of the lings are gone now though, but the trades have, <laughs> have definitely decreased in overall efficiency. Overlord, though, it's nice. Well, 
still up on income though. More workers. Mine's taking some more chunks. Now that the medevacs are out and still don't have shields. We still haven't even started shields. Ooh, that uh, does not bode well for these marines' survivability against these asshole trader mines. That is a lot of lings. God damn. 105 lings. So he is all inning me, it looks like. He's uh, got, what is this, five bases, but he's cut on 55 workers and has 100 and 130 zerglings and 15 banelings. So that basically means that this move out, I should have seen this with the Metavax and ran the fuck away. Um, instead, of course, we're going to push because... I don't know what's happening, despite the fact that I have a marine sent to both sides, specifically before this push, to scout if he actually has any drones. I just don't pay attention to it anyway. And we're going to do the push. We got mines, we got marines. What could go wrong? It's not like he's got a fucking ridiculous amount of units or anything. Ooh, huge gargantuan mine heads. Another huge mine hit. Honestly, a pretty in oh one more. Honestly, a pretty incredible trade out for how much worse my army should have been if the mines didn't hit like that. Individual marines eating up mine shots. Uh, he somehow ignores the fourth which is quite fortuitous for me, because I actually have stuff over here to defend the third. Well, on the way to defend it, I suppose is a better way to put that, because he does just come in and fucking ransack this shit. Um, which is going to put him in the economic advantage, because that was a lot of workers. Uh, I have not killed very many workers at all, and that's going to make it 22 for him. Another big ol' round of 2-2 two -two lings going to come in. Mine's doing what they can. He just keeps making lings, though, and so mine... Mine marine should beat that, right? And just keep making mines, burrowing, burrow them. I guess it depends on how much the mines want to just kill all of your own stuff. Sometimes they wake up on the wrong side of the bed and decide to do that. Uh, we've this guy has built drones in three bursts, and the whole rest of the time has been making wings. <laughs> I, it's been working. I mean, he's been just getting damage, sending this across, but I do wonder, how's the 3,000 behind? I mean, it's the gap itself is growing, but the I, honestly, the, the ratio is probably a little better than last I checked, too. Okay, we still got a lot, though. We hive on the way, still on 63 workers. This is a terrible place to fight. Let's fight Ling Bane on a speed zone. Um, but the Banes do get distracted by a Marauder, and so I am actually able to get a pretty good split here. Which is going to make that trade even a little better than the last time. Another wave, <laughs> winding up. Okay, a billion zerglings. Gonna get a big shot from that guy. Again, standing in the speed zone next to banelings is a stupid idea. Banelings come in and just murder everything at this base. Mm, Marines, Stutter Step, and Metavax certainly are pretty good versus versus Lings even without the mines, but 
God damn, the lines can add a lot sometimes. Okay, 3-3 three, three is on the way for him. Looks like my 3-3 three, three is going to be a bit earlier. Ultra Cavern for him, though. We're getting Lib Range and Drilling Claws. Ooh, another big shot from the mines. Looks like it's gonna go into a bit of a base trade here. The Ling's running into the main. A Liberator over here, denying mining. A Liberator over here, denying mining. Army going into the main. Ooh, there's a lot of Ling's. I, they do not have Adrenal, I don't think. Going into the main, gonna snipe the spawning pool. 3-3 three, three is going to finish. Can't lose the stuff here. Uh, the main is is forfeit. The the racks lift and run. Um, Marines trying to make a stand here. Whole bunch of lings come back. Gonna eat a mine shot and are too much, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up. The lib's still denying mining at these bases. The ultras actually ignore the bio uh, for some reason, presumably chasing something. Um, these are also going to ignore it, and so they're going to continue to just base trade. A uh, hundred million lings are going to now go to the third. One Liberator is going to try and defend it. It uh, it shoots uh, an Ultra, and we're all very sad. Uh, this base has become a planetary, and we are now going to ring it in barracks. The, um, the Marines getting work done. Lib's still chilling. We're going to come in and kill the Hive. Okay, pick everything up. Boost away. Looks like we were able to deny plus three armor from him, though he does still have plus three weapons and uh, presumably carapace. Yes, he does have kindness. Okay, the medevacs go across the map to drop over here. The planetary is protected by double lib. And a widow mine, the widow mine, doing huge damage. Drop over here, easily kills a base. The lib tries to readjust to get more. Nice pickup. I'm gonna relocate again. The ultras do find one little spot where they can hit, but we just turn the libs around and, and start shooting those guys. Make sure that they can't really do anything. Uh, over here, we're going to pick up again, get out, go back to the main, land this so we can uh, do a supply drop so that I can get unsupply locked and start making marines and some more workers. Just still killing shit in the main. Lings come over and decide they want to die to the planetary fortress. Totally fine by me. We're not looking, because we're reshifting the libs, and the ultras do chew up everything here. But now, our, our nine medevacs are going to come back to these brand new marines that we are making from the barracks that are surrounding our final planetary. Um, we're going to start a factory. Why not? This one marauder is going to have good company. He has... He's a base with 150 health and four drones. So the economy is looking better for me just because I have mules. Uh, he has to walk into planetary lib to break this. Um, and, well, he, he stood in my circles. We're going to go ahead and... Repair the planetary. I think now this guy can go land somewhere else. Um, 
yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick up and we're gonna we're gonna get back out there and keep dropping. And that's it. Um, the hold of the the final planetary and and two lips. I I don't know. It was it was quite a shit show to go through this game, but I let this be a testament to the fact that you should never quit as Terran. Uh, even in the bleakest hour, there is always hope for us, brothers. Uh, so yeah, I hope you have a good one and. I'll talk to y'all later.